What's going on, guys? Happy Thursday. This is a Kendrick Sports Hustle Report, and I'm Kendrick. That's S-P-O-R-T-Z-H-U-S-T-L-E. We're talking Texas high school football. Two Texas teams got into a big brawl that led to some ejections. Where will that leave them for their next games? I'll tell you that in just a second. But before we do that, make sure you like and subscribe to Kendrick Sports Hustle YouTube channel. That's S-P-O-R-T-Z-H-U-S-T-L-E. Go over to Facebook. Make sure you like and follow Kendrick Sports Hustle page. Big fight broke out at a high school football game in Texas between Fort Worth Eastern Hills and Dallas Roosevelt that got ugly. Uh, it led to every single player for both teams being ejected and the game was called off and this is according to the Fort Worth Star-Telegram. Now the game between Dallas Roosevelt High School and Fort Worth Eastern Hills High School, it had about six minutes and 44 left in the game when it appeared a big spar started in on the field which included spectators jumping over the fence and others. Eastern Hills was up 35 to 12 at that time. A person did film some of the video of this fight, which lasted quite a few minutes, uh, and they posted it to YouTube. I will put a link where you can kind of go see some of that. Uh, and it's not really, you hate to see this happening. In any, any type of sporting event, especially high school, you could hear the announcer saying they needed security and all that as well. Now, uh, an official for the Dallas ISD uh, said that the reason this fight broke out, according to that official, was uh, of a late or big hit, bad hit on one of the Roosevelt players. Now, this is according to an official with the DISD. Uh, so, both districts, Dallas Independent School District and the Fort Worth ISD, ISD School District, are investigating as well as the Texas UIL. Now, if Eastern Hills would eventually be given the win and they improved this record to two and one. But what this means is Roosevelt will have to move up their JV players because they suspended all those players. They won't be allowed to play the first half. So they have to move up their players. Fort Worth ISD, Eastern Hills will have to do that as well. Roosevelt's next game is tonight against Italy. And uh, Fort Worth Eastern Hills' next game is tomorrow night against Kennedale, Texas. So again, the UIL is still investigating. Just a shame that this game had to end that way. Again, I will put a link in the description where you can uh, see some of the video, how some of this fight got out of hand. This has been a Kendrick Sports Hustle Report. I'm Kendrick. That's S-P-O-R-T-Z-H-U-S-T-L-E. Like, comment, and if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. So, hope you have a good Thursday. We'll see you on the other side. I'm out. Peace.